while the media is having a field day. Lana and Cheryl say the same story. It was self-defense. And in the end, it was ruled a justified unaliving. In true Hollywood fashion, there were conspiracies. Some people said Lana discovered Cheryl in bed with Johnny and she's the one that shanked him. Both mom and daughter stuck to their stories. They said, mm -mm, that's not what happened. Cheryl, she's trying to deal with the trauma. She becomes a ward of the state. She goes to a psychiatric institute for girls. She escapes. She's a drug addict, but then she gets her life together. She becomes a model. She works with her dad in his restaurant. She becomes a realtor. She meets her partner, Joyce Josh Leroy. Lana accepts Josh as her own daughter. But here's the kicker. Lana Turner passed away at the age of 74 in 1995. She left her daughter and her daughter's partner, Josh, $50,000 and some of her personal things. Lana's estate was worth $1.7 million, which in today's money is like $3 million. But guess who she left it to? Her housekeeper. Her housekeeper slash assistant. Cheryl tried to take it to court. She lost. But get this. The housekeeper slash assistant basically said the estate spent all of the money on attorneys, taxes, etc. She had nothing. Nothing was left. What a waste. I don't mean to sound crass. I know life is more than just money. But you mean to tell me that she got a case for her mother and her mother left all her money to the housekeeper? Wow.